One approach to solving the sorting problem is to use the insertion sort algorithm. That's what this lecture is all about. Recall from selection sort the state of the list at the beginning, after some passes, and at the end. The same is true for insertion sort. At the beginning, the entire list is unsorted, and i refers to zero. After some passes have been completed, part of the list is sorted and part is not. i refers to the index of the first item in the unsorted part of the list. At the end, the entire list is sorted, and i refers to the length of the list. For insertion sort, one pass of the algorithm involves taking the item at index i and including it in the sorted section of the list. Let's look at an example. Since the entire list is still unsorted, adding i to the sorted part of the list is simple. We just increment i and move on to the next pass. The 7 is compared with the 3, and since 7 is greater than 3, it's in its correct position. Next, the 2 needs to be included in the sorted part of the list. We know that the 5 will be in the same position as it was before. In any given pass, only the items from index 0 up to and including index i might change. 2 is less than 7, and it's less than 3, so the 2 belongs at index 0. The 7 will be moved over one position, and the 3 will be moved over a position, making room to put the 2 at index 0. Now it's time for the fourth pass. The item at index i, the 5, needs to be included in the sorted part of the list. 5 is less than 7, but it's greater than 3, so the 7 is shifted to the right, and the 5 is inserted at index 2.